In this video, we're going to talk about savings annuities. Now, we've been talking about compound interest. You've probably been talking about that in your class, if you're not in my class. And the idea of a compound interest formula is you're investing a lump sum of money and then just letting it sit there and grow, being compounded monthly or quarterly or whatever. Well, that's not really how people save money most of the time. Most of the time they open an account with a certain amount of money and then they're going to deposit a certain amount each month, set up a savings plan, right? So for example, uh, let's look at this. An account that earns 3.5% compounded monthly is opened with initial deposit of $1,000. Each month $250 is added to the account. How much is in the account after two years? All right, so there are online calculators that will do this. You could do this with a spreadsheet. You could do it with a TI-83 or TI-84 calculator. What I want you guys to be able to understand is what's happening behind these numbers. So we're going to actually crank out the first few months of this. And if you're in my class, this is what you're going to be expected to do uh, on a test. So let's set this up here. And then we'll look at the online calculator because, you know, in the if this was really happening to you and you wanted to know you just go to the online calculator and calculate it out but I still want you to know why uh, it's coming up with the numbers that it's coming up with and where they're coming from alright so we're gonna open our account um, with a thousand dollars so let's say in month one we open our account I'm gonna put balance over here with one thousand dollars so this will be like at the beginning of month one. I guess you could call this month zero if you wanted to. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's say our initial amount is month zero, and then month one will mean the end of, of that. So here we go. So we'll go month zero. Okay, so now we, at the beginning, zero, t equals zero, we put in $1,000. Now, what's going to happen is we're going to earn interest, right? So to figure out how much we have at um, the end of month one, we're going to take and figure out our interest. Hopefully I left enough room here to figure this out. We need to figure out the interest that we're going to earn. So it's going to be simple interest, simple monthly interest. It's going to be $1,000 times 0 0.035 principal times rate times time. And since it's one month, it's going to be 1 12th of a year. All right, so let's go ahead and calculate that. So we're going to do 1000 times 0 0.035 and times a twelfth is the same as dividing by 12 that's just faster and rounded to the nearest penny is two dollars and ninety two cents alright so I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna write two dollars and ninety two cents so now my balance is gonna be one thousand uh, two dollars and ninety two cents and this is going to be before I put in my two hundred and fifty dollars. So when I go to month two, well, let's just let's put the two fifty here. So let's say, okay, well now I'm going to add two hundred and fifty dollars into my account. So when I start month two, I've really got one thousand two hundred and one thousand two hundred fifty-two dollars. Oops, that's not good. Let's fix that. $252.92. So now when I go to month two, my interest is now going to be calculated on my new principal. I'm going to get interest on $1,252.92. So I'm earning interest on the $1,000 that I put in initially. I'm earning interest on the $250 that I just put in. And I'm earning interest on the interest from last month, the $2.92. That's where the compound interest comes in. All right, so for the next month, I'm going to take $1,252.92 times 0 0.035 divided by 12, and I get $3.65. See, I earned more interest this month. Last month was only $2.92. So 365. All right. So this comes out to be 365. So now to calculate my new balance, I'm going to add on $3.65 interest that I got, plus I'll add on the $250 that I am depositing. 
So my balance going into month three for my interest, let's see if we can do this. This will be $1,506, oopsie, and 52 cents. I'll erase that in a second. $1,506 and 57 cents. All right, I think you get the idea here, but let's just go one more month, okay? And then we'll go look at the, maybe you could pause it and try one month. Let me fix this, that's just... And then uh, start it up again and see if you got it right. Okay, here we go. Um, let's see. So for month three, it's going to be interest calculated on my new balance times the same interest rate. And those of you guys that maybe have some familiarity with spreadsheets can see how making a spreadsheet to do this, um, just cranking this out over and over again, wouldn't be that hard to do with these as your columns and, and your formula. Okay, so $1,506.57 times my interest rate times my time, which is just a month, or divide by 12, $4.39. Okay, so for my balance now, they're going to add $4.39 plus the $250. Bucks, and let's see what that gives us. Looks like 1700 let's go back and take get my purple pen here, and $6, no, $60.96, $1,760.96. Okay, so we would have, to, if we wanted to crank this out and figure it out each month, um, we'd have to do this 24 times because it would be for two years. Well, nobody wants to do that. But this is the math behind what's happening. Okay, so now let's go look at a website. If you Google, you know, savings calculator or something like that, there's lots of different options, and some of them are better than others. Let's see. Um, let's look at this one. Let me go back here. Okay, so this is from bankrate.com. Actually, let me show you how to get here. So if you just start at bankrate.com and scroll down to calculators, and I would just go to, oh, let's see, scroll down to cal see all calculators. And the one that I'm going to show you is under savings. Loan calculators, did I pass it up? Personal finance, debt, savings calculators, compound interest calculator. Because we're doing interest that's compounded. Now, something a little tricky about this, if we want to try to show exactly the problem that we just did, we started with $1,000 and then we added $250 each month. And so... Our $250 was added at the end of the month. Well, this calculator, whatever you're adding each month, it's going to put it in at the very beginning of the month. It's going to think you added it in the first month as well. So I put the starting amount at $750 so that it's putting my contribution of $250 in there in the first month as well, making that 1000 and then it's going to add $250 each month after that, if that makes sense. So we're going to save for two years, and I put in our rate of 3.5%, and we are doing this per month. So you could also save per week or per quarter, and then you could do your interest compounded, however it's compounded separately, and we're doing compounded monthly. Okay, so then you hit Calculate and you get this information here which tells you how much you'll have at the end of year one and how much you'll have at the end of year two. Now if we go view report and we scroll down it's gonna show us basically what we were doing on the other page. Let's see here. So it's got the interest 292, 365, 439. Let's look at ours. Um, where's our interest? 292, 365, 439. Perfect. And then we had 176096 let's see what they have over here 1760 now they've got okay this number right here this 1510 that was before you added in the $250 so if you take 
$1,510 and add in the $250, that would be $1,760.96, right? So that's exactly what we had right here. They just haven't added in the $250 yet in their chart. So that's pretty cool. You can look at your chart and see how much you'll have at the end of each month. Now, one thing about this chart that I noticed is this $7,028. Um, I don't think it has the last $250 added in. But, you know, you could kind of see where you are each month going along. And that's really how people do things. They're going to look at technology or the Internet to help them figure out how much money they have. But for you, I want you to understand how those numbers are calculated and how it's just using simple interest each month with that extra payment added in, then simple interest again. All right, well, I hope that helps and you found that enlightening.